Hello, welcome back. Okay, so this is level three, the Lost Valley. And before I do anything, I think I'll go get a secret. Because it'll save me having to backtrack later. Okay, this is definitely one of my favourite levels. Quite a uh, tricky series of jumps. Okay, so I just need to cross the bridge when I get to it eventually. There we go. Okay, these cogs on the wall do mean something. We'll be coming back to that later. Well, I'm just going to shimmy across this crack and land on that flat ledge down there. There we go. Boom, secret. And then I'm just going to jump in the water. Whee! Oh, I'm gonna do a glitchy, this bit's pretty funny. Wait for it. And hope this works. <laughs> and this just keeps working as long as you uh keeps trying to swim backwards upstream. For some reason, she glitches right to the top of the map. Okay, there we go, that's enough. But as soon as you turn around, there we go. Down into the water. So there's some dogs across there. I'm just gonna snipe them from here. Because this way they can't, uh, they can't shoot me. Um, shoot me. Aha! Yeah, that one hadn't woken up properly. Oh, there's another one through here, I almost forgot. Where's he gone? There we go. So this part isn't actually necessary, but I am just going to slide down here just to get all the kills. Just cause. I'm trying to go for a um, more of a 100% complete run on this rather than a speed run per se. Obviously I'll be getting all the secrets. Wherever I can I'll be getting all the pickups. And I'll try my best to get all the kills. Okay, this is the, uh, the part with all the dinosaurs. Yeah, the raptors are pretty hard. Especially because at this point we've only got the pistols. We don't get the shotgun until the end of this level. definitely want to hang back here because as soon as I run past that bridge it will trigger the T-Rex and obviously I want to take that on without any uh, raptors distracting me. Here we go. Okay, so as soon as you can lock onto the T-Rex, best thing to do is just backflip as much as you can. Just make sure you've got plenty of distance because the T-Rex can cover a lot ground in a very short amount of time. There we go. That wasn't so bad. But yeah, that's just the best way to uh, avoid taking damage from the T-Rex, is just to put as much distance as you can. Just backflip as soon as he comes around that corner. 
Alright, I'm just gonna get uh, secret number two through here. There we go. Chime takes a second to kick in. And uh, secret number three is actually right next to us. Just up that waterfall. But uh, it's kind of weird to get up there. It's very fiddly. You have to um, you have to shimmy along to a very specific spot until Lara can actually pull up. So you have to be a little bit off the edge of the block when you jump. I'm hoping I've done this right. Because if not, you have to go all the way back. Yes. secret number three. There should be five secrets in this level in total. Uh, there's another one on the roof of the temple where I'll be going in just a minute. And then there's a fifth one right at the end of the level. Okay, so we actually need to drop into this water anyway, but it's also the safest way down. Uh, there is a raptor as soon as I pull up through here. So... I might take some damage. What? That was weird. She just put her guns away for no reason. Oh, whatever. I didn't even take damage. That's pretty good. Yeah, the good thing about the enemies, the enemy AI is usually pretty good, but the AI is flawed in one sense in that if you do a roll to get around their, their backside, they actually uh, have to turn around before they can attack you. They can't just like turn on the spot, they have to kind of do a little maneuver to turn around, which usually does give you uh, plenty of chance to get a few shots at them before they can get back around to attack you. Alright, you don't actually have to dive off here, but I want to because it's cool. And hopefully I won't break my neck. Awesome. I just love doing that. Okay, what's up next? Uh, yes, two more raptors. Just up this way. Yeah, they take a while to go down. Awesome. And again, I didn't take damage there. This is going really well. Probably just jinx myself, haven't I? Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, I can guarantee as soon as I'll be like, "Ooh, this is going well." Totally not losing any health at all. Probably going to uh, fall off a ledge and break my neck, aren't I? It's usually the way things go with me. Okay, so I've just picked up a cog there. We need three of those to progress to the end of the level. And before I move on, I actually need to go get the secret that's on the roof. So there's a very specific spot where you need to climb up, just this rock up here. Okay. So... We need to be right on the edge. There we go. That bit is quite difficult. Okay. When I first played this level and I discovered the secret up here, this was the most impossible thing to do. This series of jumps. There's the chime. 
it's worth coming up here to get the secret though because you do get a large medu pack, uh, two sets of magnum clips and a set of Uzi clips. Or maybe it's shotgun shells. And there's actually a nice little shortcut down just through here. Uh, there's just like a slope down there if you can see. Just run onto it. There. And then we just need to carry on with the level. Okay, this can be kind of uh, awkward because if she drops down at the wrong point she can take damage, but I actually managed it all right there. Save crystals. Who needs them? I'm joking, of course. I will actually need them at the end of the level, um, at the end of the game. Nice big jump. Oh, come on, Lara. It's right there. Thank you. Okay, I think we're ready to go. That should be all three cogs that we've gotten now. So we just need to go all the way back to the valley. doesn't want to climb up here. <laughs> For some reason if the uh, ledge that she's trying to climb up on is ever so slightly slanted she doesn't want to jump up at all. Okay, just need to climb up through here. And we need to do those uh, series of jumps across the river again. So we should have to come out where the bridge was with all of the uh, machinery on the whoops on the far wall. There we go. Right. There's card number one. Number two and card number three. Okay, so all I need to do now is pull this switch, which should move the damp. Technically we can actually just jump into the pool at the bottom and end the level, but we're going to go get the last secret. So, should be a shotgun down here. Yep, there it is. Again, there's really very little in the way of 3D texturing in this game. Basically just a, a 2D wrap around so that no matter where you stand, the uh, item just kind of spins in place. But this was 1996, so... Okay, the 
There should be a little hole up here, I can get to there. Climb up. There we go, there's secret number five. Over in the corner we should have... I think it's two sets of shotgun shells and a small medipack. There we go. Okay, there's actually pretty sure I have to take damage, but I'm gonna try something here, see if this works. Yes. Okay, sometimes that doesn't work and she lands in the uh, riverbed. Okay, I'm gonna do something very cool. There's actually a lovely little camera angle just here, so. Nice big majestic swan dive there. Okay, so where the waterfall used to be, it's actually a nice little opening we can pull up into. And this should be the end of the level. Yep. Okay, there we go. Kills 12, pick up 16, secrets 5 of 5. So that's the end of Lost Valley. I will see you in level 4.